What's up guys? Uh, so today I just jumped right into getting some things done on the uh, 2JZ because I'm uh, crunching with time with, between this and bringing the car down to start getting a fabrication next week and work. So uh, just started to pretty much disassemble this PCM shifter because what it does is it sandwiches between the chassis. So I'm gonna get this in, and I also have uh, these Condor, these Condor uh, polyurethane, polyurethane uh, bushings for the for the transmission. I mean, not bushings, the mounts. The polyurethane transmission mounts by uh, Condor Speed Shop. These are some really good. Uh, you know solid mounts and when you start going with a shift the setup kind of like this you want you know some solid uh, mounts for your transmission I already have solid motor mounts so get solid transmission mounts so just finished taking this apart right here All right, guys, two piece. And I'm also gonna get this uh, selector rod in as well, same time. So let's go over. So this basically is gonna sit just like that. Gotta open up the space just a little bit to make sure that every bolt fits through. Then I'll go underneath. All right guys, so uh, all the heat shielding along the tunnel of the transmission, transmission tunnel. Got all the heat shielding on there. Obviously, it was a little bit challenging, but uh, yeah, the whole thing is on the tunnel going back. But quick update on the shifter. So the shifter's in, and uh, what I don't like about this shifter, I mean, it looks good, but it has a little bit more play than I preferred. And uh, let me just grab the flashlight show you guys what's going on below All right. So here's the shifter assembly here. I do have the bolt out because I'm gonna make some adjustments. So, you know, with this particular shifter, there's a little bit more play than I like because it does not have the lower uh, section rod that would normally come back here with the uh, stock shifters. This is just uh, one bolt piece. But uh, I'm going to actually swap this out. I'm going to return this and get an uh, even higher end shifter from, uh, ugh, I forgot the name of the company right now, but obviously you guys will see that. But the other thing is with this shifter is the bottom is so thick, it's so thick around the edges here that in order to go to the back gears, when you try to go to the back gears on... Uh, Let's say third, third or fifth, it bucks right here, not allowing this to push the gears in. So I couldn't use this anyway between the selector rod and this. They do not work together. So that's just something to keep in mind, guys, if you are doing this in the future. 
this PCM shifter does not work with this 2DS, whatever this company was, select the rod. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, just continue. All right, we got two pumpkins here. We got the old pumpkin. We got the new pumpkin. So, uh, I actually swapped out this diff because this particular diff, after I put it in, I noticed it had a little play right here which caused a small leak, so the seal is just bad. I didn't have time to, uh, I don't have time to break down this whole diff and change out this cap and the seal inside. So I got that pumpkin that actually has new seals, and this also have the upgraded uh, bushings uh, on the ears as well. This never had any of that, so, uh, you know that and that one has much lower miles uh, I think that one has uh, about 50,000 or so uh, new seals so that diff will be a lot better than that diff and there's nothing wrong with this it's just like I said just need a new seal so if anybody needs a m3 diff then let me know it's still a good diff just break it down put the new seal now the challenge is getting this thing back under that car with no lift just me in that jack and that piece of wood. You guys have no idea how challenging this is. I mean, I've done it maybe six, seven times already between that car and this car, but uh, it ain't easy, it ain't fun, especially when you're alone and this thing is super heavy, but uh. All right guys, so the nice PMC shifter is out. I had to remove it because uh, right here, you could actually tell, what was the other side? You could tell that side was hitting on the uh, selector rod. So this piece is no good. And uh, yeah, I do got the, the new diff in. The old diff is there. The new diff with the mounts are in, and along with the new diff, uh, I do have, along with the new diff, that nice SLG uh, pieces in, the adapter, and uh, the front adapter is also in so now I can measure and get the right drive shaft we're empty up there I'm gonna get a new shifter and uh yeah this thing is just about this thing is just about ready to get on the ground so I'm gonna do the fuel next all right guys so it's been uh quite a few hours I wish you guys could have seen me uh put that uh differential in because Man, oh man, I, uh, it's really tricky with me alone putting a differential in. I tell you, all decks was, I mean, all limbs were on deck, both hands, both feet, you know, just to get that thing in properly. But it gets easy and easy every time. But, uh, now I got the Chase Bays. I have the Chase Bay, um, reservoir kit for the power steering. And, uh, I got to go locate a spot. To go mount this in I did get uh, the front the nose actually the nose is on as it's going on with that so bumper headlight and the uh, front brace is on because I do have to put these things on so you know uh, my fabricator could fabricate up uh, the inner cooler and uh, a mount for my radiator, which is sitting over there. Just, you know, fab it up nice and smooth. But, uh, yeah, I mean, besides that, that's uh, that's it. Yeah, the uh, reservoir for the Chase Bay. I got to find a spot over here. I might be eliminating this. Find a spot over here to mount it and just get rid of these old hoses because it's going to be... Uh, I got new hoses to go here. 
But uh, rolling on, rolling on. It's It's been a long day, but a lot, a lot has been uh, completed and accomplished and almost there. Yeah, so I was uh, hooking up the power steering, uh, the Chase Base power steering uh, reservoir kit. And uh, this is the low pressure line. And the high pressure line goes in there. This is the high pressure off of the off of the um, power steering pump, and it really sucks because what happened is the kit with the kit, the line from here to that back fitting right there does not exactly reach. This is the high pressure line from Chase Bay. If I hook this up on here, it is far from reaching all the way down there. So um, after a little bit of homework, I did find out like this, this is a GTE. I mean, this is a GTE VVTI engine, VVTI solenoid, but uh, um. Here in the GTE power steering pump, the GE non VVTI pump fits this correctly because this piece, this adapter piece is like down here or something like that. Uh, roadblocks. They always kind of run into these roadblocks with these builds, but um, let's, I guess I got to get another power steering pump and put on here. All right, guys, so you see uh, fuel rail is in. Uh, these overpriced fittings are in. Nice, pretty radium stuff. Now, uh, do the fuel line. Not much space. All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to call it a night. Well, a day, whatever. It's sunlight's outside, and I think it's like 7 o'clock. And it's time for me to wrap this up because um, if I record all this, man, this video would be hours because I've been in this garage for hours. But I did get a lot done today. The diff is in, the adapter on the diff and the transmission is in, uh, the Chase Bay um, power steering. I got it mounted, but I do have an issue with the power steering line. Um, I mean, the uh, high pressure line, it's not long enough. So I got to contact Chase Bay, find out what they could do for me. Otherwise, I got to change the GTE uh, pump to a GE pump, which will make it work. What else did I get done? Uh, the injectors. The injectors and a fuel rail. Got those done. That took a little while too. Because, uh, I mean, the instructions on radium engineering was actually pretty good. But then I had to find, like, some adapters in the boxes from the engine. When I originally bought the engine, I needed some adapters. Two little plastic adapters. Couldn't find them for anything, but I found them. Fuel uh, the rail is in. I also uh, got the front end ready for the in the cooler to be mounted and the piping to be mounted and the radiator. And that entailed actually uh, doing some detail and work to the to the face of the M3 because I had to get rid of the old fan, the old radiator, the old uh, 
compressor, um, condenser. It was a lot. It was a lot. I got a ton done today on this car. I'm, you know, pretty happy about that. So, uh, on the next one, I'm going to be doing the radium fuel pressure regulator and uh, doing a few lines and the fuel pump and those stuff. Still a lot to be done. Like I said, I'm trying to crunch this in because I am bringing the car down to do the fabrication for the piping in five days. So between work and everything else, I got a lot to do. Guys, like and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this video specifically because like I said, at the end, I got a really big surprise for all of you guys. You're going to love it. So uh, yeah, until next time. Time to go. Peace.